It's time for recipe of the day. If you're doing any kind of meatless Monday, a delicious vegetarian gravy is going to be wonderful to make your meal extra special. So today I'm telling you about a homemade mushroom gravy. Now, I know that I tell you quite often about the mushroom sauce that we eat on pierogies for Christmas Eve and Ukrainian Christmas Eve. That is not quite this recipe. That is a different recipe that is really just sauteed mushrooms, dried mushrooms that have been rehydrated, and then cream and salt. There's nothing really else in there and it is luscious and delicious. That I will link to for you. But today's is more of a traditional gravy with flour and stock and then there is some cream in it. So how do you make this mushroom gravy? You're going to start by melting three tablespoons of butter in a large saucepan over medium heat. Once it's melted, add in one chopped up onion and saute until it's nice and soft and translucent a few minutes. Then you're adding in a full pint of sliced white mushroom You can use the sliced cremini mushrooms if you'd rather, or some chopped up portobello, or you could do sliced shiitake if you want it to go into like a more robust flavored kind of gravy. You just want to be using fresh mushrooms, that's all, and you have them sliced. So you add those mushrooms into that butter and onion, and you cook stirring occasionally until they're nice and soft, about five minutes. Then add three tablespoons of flour, just sprinkle that all over top and stir it in and then cook it for a few minutes. It'll just kind of cook up some of the raw flavor. And it also adds that nutty brown flavor, which is going to be really important if you're making this vegetarian and your next step is adding one and a half cups of vegetable broth or vegetable stock. You can do this with beef broth if you're not making a vegetarian. And then that gets you some of that meaty dark flavor as well, right? Okay, so you added the three tablespoons of flour, stir it and cook that for a little while, then slowly drizzle in one and a half cups of stock or broth while stirring continuously. And then you're going to let that come up to a simmer. It's going to thicken. And then you stir in half a cup of heavy cream. Alternatively, you can use half and half. Or if you want this to have like a stroganoff kind of feel to it, take it off the heat and stir in half a cup of sour cream. If you're using the sour cream, you don't want it to heat anymore though, because it can curdle. You're also adding in a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Stir that, give it a taste, and then add some salt and pepper. And like I said, so if you are using the sour cream, you take it off the heat before you add the sour cream. If you were using heavy cream or half and half, you could just kind of warm it through for a minute or two, but you don't necessarily want it to come right up to a simmer. Okay, so you've added your cream or sour cream or Worcestershire, your salt and your pepper to taste, and then you serve. This is wonderful on mashed potatoes, egg noodles, even rice. It's great spooned onto bread and then topped with cheese and melted. You can do so many things with this. It's just delicious mushroom gravy. I will put the link to this recipe in the show notes for this podcast episode, or you can head to cookthestory.com slash ROTD and get it there. And if you want more amazing ideas from me, I have newsletters that go out. Well, there's two different ones. There's one from Cook the Story and one from The Cookful, and each one sends out emails twice a week full of timely ideas that are going to be needed just in a pinch when you need that idea, you need that recipe. I'm there for you with those. The easiest way to find my newsletters is to go to cookthestory.com and click on start here from the menu or cookthestory.com slash start dash here. Same with the cookful. If you go to the cookful.com and then click on start here from the top menu or the cookful.com slash start dash here, and then you can sign up right there. I am Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, the cookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook, and from this podcast recipe of the day. I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking. <laughs>